So the next thing we're going to do is just talk about the Thesis 2.1 interface. Now, this is the site that I'm working on, thesis2demo.com. And this is what sort of the, def the default installation of Thesis 2.1 looks like uh, right outside of the box. And so if we come over here, notice that I'm using the beta version, but the beta version is going to be essentially identical to the regular version. So if it's out of beta when you're watching this, you don't have to worry about that because the only thing that we're doing now between now and when the final thing is released is we're just fixing bugs. But the interface is going to look the same and everything else. So anyway, here we are in Thesis. Bright new colors now. And if we come over to the Thesis Home, this is the new uh, Thesis screen. Now, Thesis has this quick admin menu over here. And then also has the select drop down menus across the top. And this admin menu is really for those, essentially for those, those things that you're going to do the most often when you're developing your uh, site from scratch. And almost all of this really is uh, suitable for somebody who doesn't have any technical knowledge, uh, but just wants to use these tools in order to customize the appearance of their site. So the new home screen's got lots of good information. I encourage you to go through and read it. Um, it has some quick links to uh, various aspects of the um, of the Thesis 2.1, and it also has some quick links over here to special elements inside of the classic responsive skin. The Thesis drop-down menu is divided up into a skin menu, a site menu, boxes, packages, and a more menu. And the skin menu is essentially the place where you are going to customize the skin and the specific skin that you happen to be working on at the moment. So a skin in Thesis is very similar to a child theme in other WordPress themes, which means that it's essentially what the site looks like and what its templates are and what's displayed. And you can switch themes back and forth and without changing the content, completely change the look of your site by switching skins. And so this skin editor edits the stuff that is resident in the skin. Now, some things are not resident in the skin. Some things are going to be the case no matter what skin you're using, and those are edited elsewhere. But this skin menu brings up the, the sections for editing that are related to the specific skin that you're working on at the moment. Now, the site menu is the menu where you adjust those or set those settings that are specific to the site. That is, they're going to be the same regardless of which skin you happen to be using. So, for example, your Google Analytics. Your Google Analytics tracking uh, ID is going to be the same no matter what skin you're using, and so that sits under here in the site menu. Same thing is true with the fav icon and your RSS feed and your blog page SEO. All of these kinds of things are, these are not skin dependent information. These are site dependent information and even though you switch skins this stuff won't change whereas here if you switch if you set up a setting say in your design section and um, and then switch your skins all that design all this design information will be different because you've chosen a new skin so the boxes menu is a menu that allows you to essentially install thesis specific plugins. A box is similar to a plugin, except that it only works inside of thesis and it has this own special method of installation. And you can see I've I've designed an, a whole bunch of different boxes that all work just fine in thesis uh, 2.0, most of which do not work perfectly in thesis 2.1. Uh, but I'm quickly bringing them all up to speed. Uh, later on today, we'll look at installing a Thesis 2.1 box and then incorporating it into our skin. But this uh, skin man manage boxes is the place where you can upload a box, you can activate a box, and you can delete a box um, in a fairly straightforward manner. Okay. Packages. This is... Uh, 
I don't know, this is the prehensile tail, I guess, of uh, Thesis 2.1. Packages were a method of developing dynamic CSS that uh, Chris introduced in Thesis 2, and he's decided to phase those out in Thesis 2.2. So they're still supported in 2.1, but by the time Thesis 2.2 comes along, uh, you won't be wanting to use packages. And I'm not going to talk about packages at all this week, because we won't be using them um, in any of the things that we're doing here. And then the more just takes can take you over to Thesis blog, takes you to the Thesis user guide, um, Thesis support forums, lets you sign up for the affiliate program, and also shows you which version of the skin, or I'm sorry, which version of Thesis you're using. And you can see here I'm using 2.1 beta 11 right now. Okay, and that's the uh, that's the whole new thesis interface, really. You know, this uh, skin content here matches that skin content here. This skin design matches this skin design. Header image matches header image. Custom CSS matches custom CSS, so on and so forth, right? Manage skins matches manage skins. If you click on manage skins, this is where you can, you can choose which skin you want to be active. And I do have a Thesis Classic skin installed on here as well. In fact, by the time we're done with this week, I'm going to just activate this for the moment. And then we'll come over here and view the site. Well, except for this one thing here. By the time we're done this week, uh, it's it fell apart. But anyway, by the time we're done this week, this will this is what the site's going to look like. Um, it's not. We're not going to do all of this today because some of this does require you to um, do a little bit of code. But we're going to come back here and activate the Thesis Classic skin. This is the way, though, that you can go through and activate one skin or another, which can help you have one skin that's active while you're developing another skin.